Hey beautiful, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing wonderfully. Today's video, we are doing the new 2021 beauty trend, Skinimalism. Who thought of that name? I like it. Crafty. Okay, yes, Skinimalism. That is a fad that I am 100% down for. A totally love this trend especially for springtime and summertime this is my take on skinimalism um from what i've looked at from the pictures i've seen from the everything that i've read it's very much you but better that is it there is no cover this up contour this add this to your face to change your eyes there, no there's nothing this is all you all day just enhanced we are bringing out the natural beauty in you in the wonderful queen that is you a little bit behind this trend a little bit about what made it come to be is covid we had to start wearing masks and therefore what's the point in wearing all this makeup if it's just gonna get covered up if it's just gonna get messed up by the mask that is 2020 and also into 2021. So the root of skinimalism is your skincare. The searches on Pinterest have absolutely skyrocketed since COVID about skincare. Okay, I had to pull it up on my phone so I wasn't, I was giving you actual facts. On Pinterest, how to get glowing skin and natural everyday makeup those searches increased by 180 percent here we go skinimalism so this is my take on it very natural very glowy i'm going to show you what products i use also a couple products that i suggest this is both drugstore and high-end combined if you are new i would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty youtube family where all things happy and positive here and let's get into the video okay guys let's Fix this face with skinimalism. 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 That is the coolest name. Like, I can't stop saying it. Though it sounds kind of, you know, Hannibal lecture -y, but who am I to judge? So, the first thing, of course, with skinimalism is your base. And I don't mean like your foundation base, I mean your skin care base i have just wiped off my teeny mask let me show you this stuff oh my gosh i'm obsessed it's really cleared up i guess you would say your mask knee the mask knee that was starting to form and that was really going on right here where my mask is rubbing and i'm constantly talking it's starting to clear that up i could not be more happy okay anyways your skincare is very, very important. If you want, I can give you an updated skincare routine of what I do specifically, and I wear my mask all the time. Just let me know down below. For the do without putting on a foundation or skin tint, these are my top two. Okay, this one is a little expensive. It is the Charlotte Silbury Crystal Elixir. I clearly really, really enjoy this stuff. It is very much instant dewy skin, instant glowy skin. It's got a little dropper and you just drop it right on your skin, give it a good rub and your skin is very glowy, dewy, not to mention you're getting, you know, skincare benefits out of this. The other one that I would highly, highly recommend, in fact, I kind of like it a little bit more, it is newer on the market, is from Glow Recipe. These are the Niacinamide Dew Drops. I'm telling you, once you put these on, boom, instant glowy skin, instant dewy skin, plus Niacinamide. It supports the skin barrier, the outer portion of your skin, and that is going to really protect against the environment, your mask, it's also going to help improve texture, making your pores look smaller. I mean, niacinamide, if you haven't gotten on that train, hop on it now. Beautiful, beautiful product. And this stuff is just an instant glow do. I mean, it's just that beautiful shine. I just put some on, but I'll add a little more. 
So I have let this stuff soak in and to add a little bit of extra dew, I'm going to go in with this from Glossier. It is the Future Dew. I'm gonna use this as my primer. It is the Oil Serum Hybrid and it is made for the dew, made for that glow. It's just beautiful. As you can see, it's just got that shine, but it's still very natural, very skin-like. It's not like a, a straight up highlighter. Though it says you can use it as one. That's a beautiful, beautiful glowy product. Okay, so our skin is looking very natural and refreshed already. And this is without studio lights. This is without any, this is just natural light on me. And you can see we're looking already bright eyed and bushy tailed. Now let's keep it moving with the skin tint. If you've been watching me, you guys should have known I'd be all over this trend. You already know skin tints are my favorite form of foundation. Of them all, skin tints are they're my bestie. They're my, that's my best friend. Yes. So of course I am like all over this trend. I've got three skin tints in my hand. One is very much affordable. This is from Morphe 2. Hint, hint, skin tint. This is a great option. It is very much your skin but better. Lightweight, doesn't leave that powder look on your skin, which is what we want. The Revlon Light Coverage Foundation has that powdery look, has that look of foundation, and we're definitely wanting our skin but better. So my other two options would be Glossier. They have a great, barely there skin tint. And then also, this is from Ilia. This is their Super Serum Skin Tint. This also has SPF 40, and it made the Best of Beauty 2020 list. I mean, that was my personal list, but Hey, it made the cut. So today I actually think, let me pick which one I wanna go in with. I tell you what, we're just gonna go in with Glossier. This is called the Perfecting Skin Tint. Mine is in the shade G7 and we are just going to drop her right on. Just like so. And I'm gonna take this little brush right here. This is from Blinged Brushes. This is the F16. And I'm just gonna start blending it out. You can also use your fingers, of course, especially with this product. It is so blendable. And it's so thin and lightweight. I forgot about the smell. It smells kind of like, remember when the Wet n Wild Foundation, the, uh, what is it, Photo Focus Wet n Wild? I forgot the name and it's a beautiful foundation. Dang it, I'll have to think of the name. But it smells kind of like that. See how light coverage this stuff is? Definitely barely there, but definitely I'm gonna add just a little more because I didn't even get my forehead. Yeah, okay, so I just looked. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Remember when it first came out and it just smelled like paint? Yeah, that's kind of what this stuff smells like, but not as harsh. Okay, so this stuff has added just a light coverage. It has certainly blurred the skin. You can see my under eyes definitely look better, though they still need some help. <laughs> um, it's definitely just made my skin pretty much one even skin tone for the most part. It does look definitely refreshed and awake. I just like to go over it just with the brush, not adding any extra, and making sure that everything's pushed into the skin and blended pretty evenly though it's a skin tint you know you can still miss spots of course i love a good skin tint i'm telling you can't get enough okay this look is definitely all about just what your face can do what your face brings to the world so be confident queen i'm going to add a little bit of concealer i'm certainly not going to do the whole routine i'm literally just going to like dot and this is the this is a mini of the urban decay naked skin in the shade light neutral this is a really good concealer for lightweight days as well as glam days so i'm literally i just want to cover up some of this purple but i don't want it to look like i've put on a bunch of makeup i'm gonna lift a little bit this is literally all that I'm gonna put on. Because we don't wanna add too much makeup to ruin the skinimalism look, but I also do want to add a little bit of dimension and shape to my face. 
so it's not just one whoosh, one color I don't know what that noise was so and I'm also gonna bring this on my lid so okay now that our skin of course is looking great we added just a touch of concealer we're gonna go in with blush I am going to go in with this from the drugstore it is from NYX sweet cheeks this is in the shade daydream this stuff will melt into your skin and I like the color because it's kind of gonna give us that sun-kissed not burnt skin look but definitely skunk Scun, sun kissed look. So definitely I'm blending this to a T, making sure it's really blended in so it does look as natural as possible. I even want to touch my nose a little bit with it. Okay, so now we've got the soft rosy cheeks to match like I said we everything needs to be very natural looking we just want to look sun-kissed the only thing on my look of course you can do yours however you want that's not gonna look very natural is my eyeshadow because I'm gonna use this blush and I'm gonna go and put it on my crease on my lid but pull it out so that it kind of meets the blush so we, we don't have too many different colors going on on our face. So I'm really just doing a lot of blending and moving here. And you can see it's a very soft pink. But I, I want it to match the blush. So we want it to be soft. Okay, so we are rounding up this look. I'm gonna go in with the uh, mascara. This is from Essence. This is like $5 and it is a great mascara. This is the volume mascara. I'm just gonna go in and not make it as good as my lashes could be because I still want them to look very natural. This is a great mascara. Um, honestly, if I had a brown mascara, nope, nope, I don't wanna use that one. I do have a brown one, but I don't wanna use it. Um. I'm gonna go in with this but what I was gonna say is a brown mascara would look more natural than black but we're going in with this okay so my lashes are done guys this is one coat of this stuff and I didn't even do them like very orderly I just kind of wisped it on because I wanted my lashes to look natural and wispy not too perfect if you will um this is a close-up of what we're working with so far very pink very natural looking I do like the pink eyeshadow though you could totally use a brown you could use a bronzer if you wanted and make it look even more more why did I just say it like that and make it look even more natural more not there but I just kind of wanted the pink I wanted it to go in with the blush very springtime also um yeah so far I'm really digging this digging this some of the things I say. Okay guys, I went ahead and put on, excuse my hair, good grief. I went ahead and put on my lip. And for the lip, I used a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my gosh, this is, I didn't even try to do this. So I used the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW, and then I used KKW's um, 1.5 nude and what I did was I barely swiped them on and then pretty much took my finger and smudged it kind of just wiped it off so it would peek through and you can see it but also it's just a soft kind of cute kissy little touch nothing well bam and I also didn't line my lips once again very natural you know the deal with this video and skinimalism Okay, to finish up this skinimalism trend, we are gonna set it, and of course, I'm using a dewy setting spray. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is dewy set in the scent. These look like oranges, tangerines. I don't know, it looks like that, and um, it smells good. So we're gonna use it. Oh no, that smells like a peach. I'm looking for my fan, and I, I'm lost without it, but it's okay. This stuff really does make your skin just very... <laughs> Whoa, I just sucked that right in. Excuse. And I keep talking and I keep breathing it in. Of course, Holly, you, you're very smart. <laughs> this stuff really does make it dewy and glowy. And once again, a very natural looking set to our face. And 
look at that. Very natural, very me, but better, but more refreshed, more alive, more awake looking. I can really, really hop on this trend and continue to do it, not just try it once or twice and then it's over with. This trend I am totally on board with. If you wanted to, you could do it up even more and add a little bit of pizzazz to your lashes by doing the individual lashes, like these right here from Ardell, or Ilor has the pre-glued lashes. These are in wispy light and they look a little big right there, but once you put them on, they are the most natural looking pair, aside from these, that I have that are, is she wearing falsies? I can't really tell. Those are these. That would look really cute with this look too, but we're really, we're pushing the skinimalism and doing us but better, so. We're gonna stick with that. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. We are all things positive and happy here. Let me know what you think of this new 2021 trend that is called skinimalism. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.